All right, so this uh, video here is uh, for a boat, a trailer, and a motor I'm selling on Kijiji. So I've family has had this boat since new. I think it came from uh, Sears. It's a, uh, a Viking 14-foot aluminum boat. I believe uh, legally nowadays these would only seat three people. comes with uh, three tires on it, a tilting trailer. It splits in the middle there where the uh, triangle meets the uh, long part of the frame. Not sure why they have it tilting, but it does. It's got uh, newer wheels on it. I think the two of the tires are in pretty good shape. The spare tire has a little bit of cracking in it. Just want to disclose that. There's two fuel tanks here. The original fuel tank leaks around the uh, fuel level gauge. You could probably repair it. You can see when you look in the window, there's an O-ring sticking out. So I went and bought a new fuel tank for it. So that was $100. I just bought that today. There's uh, three life jackets here. Two cushions. One of the cushions is really old. It's not legal for anything. There's a, uh, a safety kit. Take a look at the inside of the boat. Actually, there's a anchor. There's uh, four liters of outboard oil. This thing burns 100 to 1, so that's good for like 400 liters of oil, so, or of gas. So you'd be good for a while. Then there's a little bit of paint for, uh, I painted the trailer last year. And then there's uh, two fenders. I took them off because uh, I had a heavier load on the trailer for a, a period of time. I was moving an engine and transmission. I didn't want the wheels to rub on the fenders. But the fender's not in very good shape, so I recommend tossing them out so you can see the uh, inside of the boat it comes with two oars the uh, I've got some oar adapters but they uh, don't fit the hole you'd need to get a machinist to do some bushings for you there's a, a charging kit for the motor so if you had a trolling motor you could charge it because this is a 15 horse so it's, it's pretty big for this boat actually. If you don't know what you're doing, you could get yourself in trouble with this motor. Got some spark plugs, some screws, some random stuff here. Some more stuff for the charging kit, the ore adapters. So I'm getting out of boating, so I'm just gonna let all this go together. If you come to see this boat in person, you are going to be happy with it, no question about it. There are a couple rivets in the bottom of the boat that do leak, and uh, you could either seal them temporarily or get them removed and get a couple new ones bucked in there. I never looked into it, but uh, it becomes a, a bit annoying when you're, if you have your stuff on the bottom of the boat and it starts to get wet. Wiring is on the trailer as of last year is new. It's got LED lights on either side so you don't need to worry about the bulbs breaking when you go in the water. This motor has about four hours on it. I had uh, a three horsepower motor on the boat before and a 10 horsepower. I decided to go new with a 15 and in the end I just didn't use it very much so that's why it's for sale. So we're going to get it going here in a minute. I just want you to take a look at it. Look at the prop, so you can tell that this thing has never really been used. I think it's been landed at the beach twice, and then it's been launched uh, at the dock a couple times as well. The boat is light, you can put it on the top of a vehicle, like a van or a car with some roof racks or what have you. I'll pop the uh, hood here, so you can see that this thing is an honest to goodness time capsule, it's brand new. I don't think they've sold two strokes for a while. So if you always wanted to have a brand new 15 horse two stroke, that's from 2007 in 2019. This is the one for you. Sorry, I keep getting my shadow in the way. Take a peek from the other side. So you might think my price is a little bit high and uh, I'm willing to work a little bit, but honestly, you're never gonna find another motor this good, so that's where I'm at.
I paid 3200 for the motor taxes in back when I bought it. And about 2500 for the uh, the package deal here as it sits. Comes with an ownership for the uh, trailer. Comes with the registration for the number on the boat. If you decide to go to a 9.9 .9 or something on the boat, I guess you take the number off. I'm not too sure. But it comes registered for the time being, unless you want to, like I said, deregister it or what have you. So uh, I'll just flip the cover back on here and we'll turn on the water and get this going. Forgive me for not knowing how to use my own boat motor. So I just got the earmuffs on it. You might see some water coming out. There's a, a jet right here. But the uh, bugs like to fill it up with whatever sand type material that they make. So I haven't had this going today. Please give it a couple squeezes. Pull out the clutch. I think it'll start in the first pull or two. A little more throttle. A bit of water coming out there. It'll just warm up and I'll take the choke off here and we'll give it a little run. This one's too slow with the choke. Alright, so that's pretty much all there is to see about that motor. Like I said, it's pretty much brand new. It's had under a tank of fuel put through it, which is kind of a shame that the tank needs to be replaced already. <laughs> Being such a small amount of fuel has gone through it. The trailer has like the uh, 2x4s that are pressure treated with the carpet on them. And uh, I think I greased the wheels last year, so they should be uh, good to go. And uh, anyway, you get everything that's uh, here, boat's in quite good shape. It used to be on the Winnipeg River up uh, near Kenora for quite a while. Now we're in the Deep River area. So I think you'd be happy with it. I'm not trying to unload a piece of junk. I just haven't used it in 10 years. And uh, honestly, it keeps killing the grass where I park it over beside the house. So I thought, hey, maybe this would be the year we sell it. So uh, please give me a ring. I'm willing to talk here and then I travel back and forth on Highway 41 in Ontario here between uh, Pembroke and Kingston if it needs to be delivered uh, out in cottage country in that area. So let me know. Thank you.